And the state's rising COVID-19 case numbers are prompting North Carolina leaders to also take a new step, asking for action from city and county governments. Nine on your side's Caroline Boyer shares what kind of action the state is asking from local officials. State health leaders are reaching out to officials in 36 counties across the state, including six in the east. They're asking cities and counties to consider adding enforcement measures to make sure people are following COVID-19 orders. We hope that greater enforcement, strong community leadership, and more people doing the right things can lower these numbers. That's Governor Roy Cooper Wednesday announcing the state is not ready to reduce restrictions. Health leaders are not happy with where the COVID trends are heading. It's critical that we take this time to focus on the basics. Yes, wear a mask, wash your hands, wait six feet apart from other people. That's why the state sent letters to county and city leaders to consider passing ordinances, creating civil liabilities or fines for businesses that don't enforce COVID precautions. Officials in Craven, Duplin, Green, Hyde, Onslow, and Pitt counties got those requests. More law enforcement across the state are beginning to recognize that it is important for them to play a role in enforcement. Some county leaders even met virtually last week with the state's health secretary. Greenville Mayor PJ Connolly received the letter, but was not asked to meet with Dr. Mandy Cohen. I wish I would have been able to be a part of that. Um, you know, my hope was that I could kind of explain kind of what we're seeing here in eastern North Carolina. Mayor Connolly is all about practicing the three W's, but isn't too keen on some of the state's other suggestions. Some of the discussion that they had that I think might be a little extreme is to start fining citizens for not complying with uh, some of the governor's orders, uh, fining businesses, restricting the number of people in local businesses. You know, I think there has to be a serious health threat. Uh, it has to be extremely serious uh, for us to go back. He says he wants the city to stick with the status quo for now. The governor has been pretty clear that he's going to make the calls on that. And if he sees a serious need for us to to roll things back, that's that's up to him. I don't think right now the municipalities uh, need to be making more strict guidelines. The state is also asking cities and counties to do more in promoting wearing masks, washing hands, and practicing social distancing. In Greenville, Caroline Boyer, 9 on your side.